Okay, so we're on. And this is, uh, this is our closing meeting for Coach Basics. And I know originally it was going to be one week, but it was the first time that I, I tried to do this Coach Basics push to Emerald in just one week's time. And it's, it's almost impossible. So I've kind of extended it to 10 days. You know, it should have been yesterday, but I wasn't feeling too good and I'm better today. Um, but this is your meeting. This is for you to ask questions after I get through some of the stuff I want to share. And then we can go from there. Now, I think some of you, just wave your hand if you are doing the, um, the Coach Blitz at 9 o'clock, if you're in the Diamond Dash. Is anybody in the Diamond Dash? You're doing the, are you, okay, fantastic. Are any of you doing that Coach Blitz with Candice at 9? Okay, no problem. If I, if I happen to go over 9 o'clock, there's no disrespect. If you guys jump off because you got that other meeting at 9 o'clock, I get it. So I'll, I'll do my best to um, have us all finished before then. But if you have questions and people want to stay on and keep asking questions, I'll go as long as you want, and uh, we can talk things out. So the first thing that I wanted to do tonight before I go into the education is, did everybody download the app BB Links? Do you have it on your phone? Okay, well, I found something out today. Maybe I'm dumb and I didn't know this, but I found it out today, and I've been using it for – well, since it came out a couple months ago, but on the link on the on BB links, the the obvious screen is where you've got pretty much every challenge pack and program and everything under the sun in the product line is there on the list, customized with your coach ID number. So that makes it real super easy to just send the link to somebody via text or email, however you want to send it to them. They buy it. You get the success club points, you get the commission, and you're rocking and rolling. Now, what I didn't discover till today, because I never really browsed the app more than that list, is this thing that says other links. It's down at the bottom of it. Like if, if you have this on your phone, look at it right now. Look, open up BB Links, and at the bottom where it says other links, click that on. I didn't know this was there. I'm like, wow. You, you can actually go to your personalized website links, check out your, your, your shop and sign up links. Like you, even your um, sign ups for the club membership trial, sign ups for uh, joining the beach body challenge. And the really cool part, useful resources. When you click on useful resources, you can go right to your online office. You can even go to your previous office view, which you're probably not even familiar with that. Don't, I'm not even going to touch upon that now. Your Team Beachbody Coach News Feed. The FAQs. How cool is that? You click on Beachbody FAQs. Pretty much any question you might have, you can search for under FAQs. And a lot of them have, like somebody might say, oh, that's FAQ number so-and-so. You just go ahead and click um, search. You, put, you click search, you put in the FAQ number, and it'll bring you right to that, that question and, and answer. So that whole section of the app, I did not know about till today when I was browsing. I'm like, oh my God, I can instantly access my coach online office through this app. So it's a lot more than just the links to send people. So that's cool. You know, when you, when you want, spend the time, browse it, check out all the different parts to it. It's, it's much more comprehensive than I realized. Another cool part, actually, I wanted to point this out. When you have, if you have a customer, right, who has bought a challenge pack. Now, you should already know this, but if you don't, when you have a customer who has bought a challenge pack, they can become a coach for free at any time in the future. Doesn't matter how long ago they bought the challenge pack, they can become a coach for free. And they do that by signing up through the normal the normal coach sign-up process, and it will charge them $39.95. But they submit a form to Beachbody, and they get that $39.95 refunded. That form is right there in the app under useful resources, Challenge Pack Coach Enrollment Refund. When you click that on, there's the form. You just zip that form off to the customer. They fill that out, zip it to Beachbody, they're getting their refund. So you've, you've got all these useful tools right in the app itself. So it's all in one little handy spot as you're working with your customers and your coaches. 
Is there anything else? Uh, no, that's it. So, yeah, play around with that. It's more useful than I thought. And you know, the only thing that it doesn't do is with the listing of all the prices that are there, it doesn't reflect when it's, a, it, when it's on sale. However, when you go to your online office, anything that's on sale will be reflected under the promos that are happening. And when you send the link to your customer and they click the link to buy, they're going to get the sales price. So don't let it deter you that the sales price isn't reflected on the app. When you send them the purchase link, they will get the product or the challenge pack for the sales price. All right. Okay, so here's what I want to get into with everybody is how do you build this business so that you're, you're not just signing up customers, you are also signing up coaches. The easiest way to start building a team quickly, guys, is by running your challenge groups and, and selling challenge packs. As you are selling challenge packs and getting people tied into fitness plus nutrition plus the support of your challenge group and you as the coach, they will very often continue to drink Shakeology for more than that first month because they're, they're, they're automatically signed up for the HD program. So unless they say, I don't like this shake, I'm canceling it, they're going to continue to get the shake. Well, once they've gotten into month two, so let's say they get their second delivery of Shakeology, they're loving it, they're going to keep drinking it, they're getting results, you owe it to that customer to reach out and say, you know what, Kim, you're doing great. You're on your second month of Shakeology. I'm glad you're liking it. The, the program's going real well for you. Let's get you signed up as a discount buyer. It's free. So that when you get your Shakeology again, you'll get it at a 25% discount. That's the terminology that you use, guys. And so, I, you know, whenever I run a challenge group, I typically will have an influx of new coach signups within two to three months after that challenge group starts because those are my customers that have bought the challenge packs that are continuing Shakeology saying, yeah, I'd like to get this at a discount. So they sign up and that's how you're building your coach team. Now, some of the people might just say, I'm not interested in working the business. No problem. Let's just have you be that discount buyer coach. Others might be intrigued by the business opportunity and that's where you want to invite them to a business opportunity webinar or a business opportunity presentation of some sort. I've done a lot of presentations through the past few years presenting the coach opportunity. It's one of the things that I love to do. I have recorded webinars of that coach opportunity presentation. I have live presentations that I've given at Super Saturday. So if you are looking for a presentation of the coach opportunity that you could share with somebody, just shoot me a note and I can easily send you the link to the recording. And it kind of gives them that excitement and understanding of what beach body coaching is all about. Better yet for you long term is that you get comfortable presenting the opportunity yourself. And that's not something that's very easy to do because I know there's so much to it. It's kind of like, how do you even begin to explain this to people? Well, you can, I've done it so much that I've kind of dialed it down to a half hour presentation and I'm going to share that link with you so that you can see the most important things that I'm saying that get people excited to say, I, I want this. I want to sign up for this. So have a look at the, the way I presented it in the past. It's been really effective for me and hopefully it'll be the same for you. But by all means, personalize it, customize it, but get used to presenting what the coach opportunity is all about to the people who express interest in it. The other thing that you can consider doing is a three-way call. You definitely, definitely want to utilize your upline. So that's the person that signed you up or your upline diamond or your upline star diamond. You reach out to them and you say, I have somebody that's interested in the coach opportunity. Would you do a call with me? Set up the three-way call. You are just kind of listening in on the call, but let the person that's doing the talking kind of lead the discussion and you'll learn from that. And like I said, if you want me to do it, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to do it. I love talking about the coach opportunity. I think it's what I do best. So use me as much as you want, but that's how you build your team. Okay. So you sign up coaches, discount buyers, 
You sign up coaches, people that are interested in working the business. The people that are interested in working the business, it is so very important that the first thing you do is welcome them to your team page. You want to get them plugged into something that, that is larger than life, something that's bigger than just, than just you and them. So once they see that there's this whole thing that they're tying into, that's when things get exciting for them. They're kind of like, wow, this is great. Look at all these people that are involved and there's so much positive energy in here. So you plug them into your team page. Now, if you're part of multiple team pages, and I know that that's happening as we grow, um, do not, I don't suggest that you go and start inviting them and welcoming them to multiple team pages because they're gonna be like, what the hell's going on? It's just too overwhelming. Just welcome them to your immediate team page. And then once they get familiar with your team page and how all this works, then you can start to have the discussion of, oh, by the way, you know, in addition to our immediate team, we're part of an upline organization as well. That organization is called Team Eternal Fit, you know, or whatever it is, you know, depending on where you are in the organization. So just be careful not to overwhelm your new coaches. Welcome them to the team page that you're on and get them plugged into Coach Basics. Like this, this Coach Basics that I did for seven to 10 days is the first time that I've made it this short and I'm gonna continue to do it this way. Like I'm, I'm gonna start another one um, at the beginning of May. So I think it's gonna be the first Monday of May. I'm gonna do another, call it 10 day Coach Basics push to Emerald group. And obviously you're more than welcome to invite people into that group, it's gonna start May. But eventually in your own journey, and I'm not saying now, because I know you just start now, eventually in your own journey, you will be running your own education groups. You yourself will grow as a leader and get to that place where you're like, you know what? I'm going to invite people to my Coach Basics, my Push to Emerald group. So you just, you just take everything that you're learning and eventually start doing it yourself. But again, that's, you know, don't, don't even go down that path until I would say at least until you get to the rank of diamond. You know, until you get to the rank of diamond, just stay plugged in with your upline team and utilize the training and education uh, opportunities that are constantly being provided. Okay? All right. Um, and I just, so I'm gonna spend, I'm looking at my clock so I don't go over. My goal is to break by eight, 8.30, 8.35, no later than 8.35 and open it up to whatever questions you have. So as I'm talking through everything that I'm sharing, if you have a question, just write it down and we'll come back and, and revisit it. Um, so let's talk about the selling process because when it comes down to it, yes, you are in the business of direct sales. This is direct selling. And when it comes to selling, that is something that a lot of people just don't like to do. And I want to share with you why, when this, when this is done properly, you should not feel like you're ever selling anybody. Because selling is icky. Selling is not something people enjoy doing, either being the seller or the person on the other end. It's just not a comfortable feeling. So how do we engage in an invitation process that makes it comfortable for everyone? How do you start to engage people in a way that is comfortable for you, yet very effective for getting them intrigued about what you have to offer? And there's, a, there's a, an invitation process that is very well broken down in your back office. There are lots of invitation resources including this five-step invitation process. And earlier, or sometime last week, I actually put up a post that showed the visual of where that's found in your back office. It's got all this invitation stuff that you can review on your own. What I wanna share with you is my personal background in selling fitness, because this is what I've done, and this is why I, I think I've succeeded so well in the world of Beachbody, is my background comes from the world of fitness in the gym world. But my primary responsibility is overseeing sales and marketing for our health club. So for 15 plus years, my job has been to, if not sell memberships myself, 
teach others how to sell memberships. And a membership to a gym is nothing more than selling fitness. I'm selling a solution to somebody when it comes to their health and fitness. That's what we do in the gym world. So let me talk you through this process through which you can start to talk to people in a way that you're not trying to sell anything during the first conversation. All you want to do is begin a rapport building relationship where they start to trust you because of how much interest you're taking in them when it comes to their health and fitness. And we do this by asking questions, lots of questions. And the mistake that most people make when it comes down to, let's say somebody says to you, I'm interested. Oh, you have a weight loss group going on? I'm interested. And the mistake that most coaches make, and the reason why a lot of coaches fail and then eventually give up, is because when somebody says to you, I'm interested, you then get so excited that you start just throwing out everything about what you're going to offer them. You start talking about your support group. You start talking about the app that you're going to use to hold them accountable. You start talking about this great shake and the exercise program and how everybody's going to chime in in the challenge group and this and that. And you got all this stuff that you're excited to tell them that they kind of just go, okay, it's too much. So when somebody says, I'm interested, your next step is to start a lot of questions. And I'm going to put myself out there right now by doing a little role play. I need a volunteer. Put your hand up if you want to volunteer. Come on, I have the tough part here. You get the easy part. All you're going to do is answer questions. Nobody wants to answer my questions. Chad, I, oh, Chad's going to put me through the ringer because Chad comes from a sales background. So, all right, bud, here we go. Hey, dude, I can't see you. You got to get your face in the screen. There you go. Okay. All I'm right. Outside. Sorry. All right. So, so Chad, let's say Chad's a buddy of mine or somebody that is connected to me on Facebook and he sees an invitation I put out there about a summer shape up group. It's going to include, um, you know, fitness and accountability. I'm putting together this, this summer shape up support group. Let me know if you're interested. So Chad sees the post. He's like, Hey Don, saw your post. What's going on? I'm interested. So let's take it from there. All right. I, I then, I then uh, shoot Chad back a message, you know, and in the beginning it will be some messaging going back and forth. It wouldn't immediately be like, let's get on the phone. So let's say I shoot Chad back a message saying, Chad, hey, dude, great to hear from you. Hope all is well. How's the wife? Um, blah, blah, blah. Personal connection. Then it becomes, so regarding the support group, really psyched you're interested why? What are, you, what are you looking to achieve? So that's the message that I've sent. He types back to me. What are you going to type back to me? Uh, well, you know, I'm just trying to lose a little bit of weight. Uh, I, was a, I was a little lazy over the winter and, you know, I've put on a few pounds, a couple of inches and uh, I go to the gym a little bit, but I, I just, I just want to get in better shape. Awesome. I get it. So I get that message. I'm like, cool, dude. I get it. I've been there. I know how you feel. I'd love to talk to you on the phone at a time that's good for you. How is later today or tomorrow? Uh, those times aren't going to work very well for me because I'm actually a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm actually traveling for business, so I can't do today or tomorrow. No problem. What works for you this week, if not next? Uh, I'm back in town Friday. Awesome. If you want to talk on the weekends, uh, this weekend I'm available. Does that work for you? Yes, it does. Awesome. How about Saturday afternoon? You tell me what's best. Saturday afternoon, let's say 2 o'clock. Done. I'll call you then. Perfect. Thank you. Now, I have a call set up with Chad. Chad has already shared with me in a message, wants to lose a few pounds. Um, I forget what else he said. He's going to the gym. He's been going to the gym a little bit, but he, you know, he's, looking to, he's looking to step it up a notch. So 
Two o'clock rolls around on Saturday. I call Chad. Ring, ring. Chad speaking. Chad, what's up, man? It's Don. Hey, Don. How are you? Good, good. How was the business trip? It was fantastic. Thank you. Cool, man. Hey, I've been following you on Facebook. I love the snowmobiling shots. It sounds like you've been up to Revelstoke quite a bit. Oh, man, it's heaven. It's heaven. That's that's my second home for sure. I, I miss it. I miss it. I was there a few years ago, and I got to get back. So one of these times, I'd love to get out there and, and, and hit the mountain with you. Oh, wow. You've actually been to Revy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, before okay. we did a heli trip a couple years ago. It was awesome. Oh, that's fantastic, man. Well, then you know how awesome it is. Yeah. Yo, I got to get out there. Cool. So, sounds like sounds like the all that snowmobiling's got you out of shape a little bit. Uh, too much good food and too many beers in the, in in the evening have probably caught up with me. I get it, man. I've been there. So let me explain a little bit about what we go what we have going on. I'm putting together a support group that's really going to tie in a fitness program with some really good nutrition strategies to help anybody in the group achieve what they're trying to achieve. Now you had mentioned that you'd put on a few pounds and that you had been going to the, the gym a bit. What have you been doing when you go to the gym? Well, I mean, I go and I don't really have a plan. I just sort of go and, you know, I do, I try to do total body every time and, and I try to get there, you know, at least four times a week. And so I, I you know, I do squats and I do some, some shoulders and arms and back and I do core and I do cardio and I try to mix it all in together uh, every every time I go. How long are your workouts? They're probably about an hour to an hour 20. Okay and is it something that you're making up or are you following a plan of some sort or where are you getting the workout from? Is it just you're just going on what you know? Well you know I, I, I just go online and I just hit like uh, muscle mag or men's health and I just pull up different programs and just do stuff like that. And then I've got some buddies that, that uh, go to the gym a lot. So I get the odd workout from them. So it's, it's just kind of generic stuff really. Okay. And what about nutrition? Cause it sounds like, you know, you're doing some decent weight training here and there with the full body. What are you doing for nutrition? Uh, I eat pretty well. Um, we try to eat healthy foods. Um, I'm not a big carb guy, so I tend not to eat a whole lot of carbs and, it's just because I don't really like eating carbs, but so I'm probably more of a protein person. Um, but I mean, I eat three, four times a day. Uh, I, I always have breakfast. Uh, I just snack. It doesn't always work. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Okay. Well, let me, let me, let me explain to you something that I recently did myself involving uh, a program it involved full body workouts six days a week, but the workouts were only 30 to 40 minutes a day. So in terms of the efficiency of the workouts, it's, it's the best training I've ever personally experienced. And not only that, it allowed me, so the time, it was shorter time in the gym. And what it did was allow me to focus more on my nutrition in a way that I've never done before. Like I, I, was, I was like you, you know, I wasn't really big in the carbs. I was like the protein guy because I was trying to put muscle on, but I didn't realize how I was kind of out of balance with my macronutrients. So I'm talking about my protein, my carbs, my healthy fats, my fruits, my veggies. Like I didn't really pay attention to all that stuff until I actually did this program. So it was a shorter amount of time in the gym with real quality workouts. And then it was me dialed into this. It was actually a portion controlled nutrition system. And I can tell you that it's the, it was the best 60 day experience I've ever had in fitness before. I mean, my results were amazing. Would love to share the you know the results that I had, um, and that's the so that's the program I would love to recommend for you coming into the support group that I'm putting together. Uh, it's gonna well, I'm gonna hold you accountable. It's going to include your complete nutrition plan. You're gonna have the full workouts laid out for you. You can do them at home or in the gym or even on the road. You can actually stream them on your phone if you you don't have access to uh, a TV or a DVD and things like that. You can actually stream it wherever you are. So the pathway plus the support is what this group's all about. And I'm putting it together now because I know a lot of people are trying to get into that good shape for the summer. Is this something that sounds interesting to you? It does sound interesting. Uh, I just I just don't want the eating part to be a hassle. I want it to be like easy. I don't, I get I don't it. have to count everything. 
I get it. And that, yeah, same thing for me. Like I've been involved with programs before you got to count your calories or you got to track points. And that's what I love most about it. It's a portion container system where there's none of that. It, it's like, it makes it so simple and easy to follow. You just got to give a little prep time. But the good news is you don't need to be training in the gym for an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. So if, okay. you, can give, if, you, can give, if you can give, you know, 20 to 30 minutes a day for the prep time, you're going to be dialed in exactly the way you need to be, and you're going to get the results you're looking for and more. I'm telling you, man, it's the best thing you're going to come upon in, in today's world of fitness as far as I'm concerned. Well, that sounds awesome. That sounds exactly, exactly like what I need. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to send you a video. It kind of explains the program a bit, and then I'll reach out to you from there, answer any questions, and we can go from there. How's that sound? That's fantastic. All right, Chad. I'm going to send the video off to you now. And then I'll follow up with you, say, tomorrow. When do you think you're going to be able to watch it? It's, it's only about four minutes long. Oh, I can definitely check it out tomorrow for sure. Okay, so do you want me to follow up with you tomorrow, or do you want to wait? What, it, your call. Uh, no, you could follow up with me tomorrow. That, that would be great. Sounds good. I'll follow up with you tomorrow afternoon, mid-afternoon sometime. Fair enough? That's fantastic. I'll talk to you then, man. Thank you. You got it. See you. Okay, so – that is like a typical conversation that I have with the people that I'm talking to that I'm associated with. And, you know, if, if Chad is somebody that maybe I don't know that well, well, you can certainly still go to their Facebook page and kind of look at their photos and see what's going on in their life and just try to find something where there's a personal connection so that when you open up dialogue with somebody that's expressing interest in your group, you want to connect personally first and foremost. And then you want to start to ask questions. Now with Chad, I asked a few questions, but I don't think I actually asked enough. You know, I could have, I could have asked even more. And what I'm going to be sharing with you on the, on the, in the group when we're done is a document that I created called the magic of sharing fitness and changing lives. And on that document, let me just take it to you now. It's a, uh, I'm going to do a screen share so I can show it to you. All right. This is, this is a document that uh, the magic of sharing fitness and changing lives. And the following suggests additional probing questions to uncover what we call a person's deepest why for expressing interest in your challenge group. Now, when you look at the five step invitation process that's in your back office, this would be part of what we call step two. So step one is the initial invitation. Step one is just, hey, I'm putting together this, this fitness support group or weight loss group or summer shape up group, whatever it is, to get people to say, I'm interested. That's step number one. Step number two is this process. It's establishing the connection and then asking a lot of questions. You know, first one being pretty obvious. Cool, I'm glad you wanna learn more about my fitness group. Are you currently exercising? If yes, what kind of exercise are you doing? What's the biggest single reason you're thinking about joining my fitness challenge? Tell me about your biggest challenges now when it comes to consistency with exercise and healthy nutrition. Looking at your recent past, what, has been, what have been your biggest obstacles to getting in excellent shape and staying there? When it comes to nutrition, tell me about your current daily eating and drinking habits. You know, so I, I asked some stuff of Chad, but I could have gone deeper. And this is one of my favorites right here, the second to last bullet. And, and again, I'll share this document. If you could pick two things to change about your weight, your body, or your overall health, what would they be? When you ask that question with people, man, they, the stuff, they just start to share. They really start to share what they want to change about their health or their fitness. And that's a very direct question. If you could pick two things to change about your weight, your body, or your overall health, what would they be? Let people respond. Now, once they respond, again, it's very easy to then quickly start sharing the details about your group and the fitness program you want to offer them and the nutrition that comes with it. But where you get more effective is to go even deep, deeper. So, for example, Chad said to me, I want to lose a few pounds. I want to lose weight. I could have, or I should have said, how much weight? How quickly do you want to lose it? 
like I should have made him get more specific with me. Like, okay, he wants to lose a few pounds. Well, can you be more specific? Like how much weight do you want to lose? And by when do you want to lose it? So when you get a response like, oh, about 30 pounds or so, I'd love to lose it by summer. There's probably still another reason deeper that you got to get to. Cool, I have a number of awesome solutions that can help you with that. But first, is there a specific reason you want to lose 30 pounds by summer? I mean, why are you making this decision now? Is there something specific that's motivating you to want to lose 30 pounds? And then you finally get to the bottom, answers like this. I hate feeling flabby. I want to look good in a bathing suit again. I want to be in better shape for my brother's wedding. I just came from the doctor. He told me I got to watch my weight and my cholesterol. Like, now you've gotten to the nuts and bolts of why they're motivated to be even interested in your group. So this is just to give you an understanding, guys. It's kind of like sales 101. It's a crash course. But don't just start spewing the features and benefits of the products and your challenge group. You want to find their deepest why first. And then offer the solution that you know in your heart is going to work. And speaking about heart, you know, selling is nothing more than identifying somebody's needs and giving them the solution that's going to solve that need. Everybody has needs when it comes to their, their fitness and their nutrition and their health. Like every single human being has needs when it comes to their health, their fitness, and their nutrition. And the cool thing is, we offer solutions to satisfy any of those needs. So it's your job just to identify what is this person's needs and then offer the solution that you know in your heart is going to address that need and, and help them feel better, change the way they look and feel, and so on and so forth. So that's it, you know, and how do you know in your heart that it's going to work? Because you yourself are a product of these products. And it, you know, even if you haven't done, nobody's done all the programs, it's impossible. But if you've done one of these fitness programs or you've been drinking Shakeology every day, you know for a fact how freaking good these programs are. So you can have all the faith in the world that every other product in the Beachbody product line coupled with Shakeology is just as good. And there you have it. So I'll put this up on the team page. And hopefully that gives you just some good ideas for dialogue when you're, when you're talking to your, your, potential, uh, your potential customers. Don't just get potty mouth and start throwing all the uh, bells and whistles about your group out there. Talk to people. Like, talk to them and really listen to them. So often we're thinking, oh, what should I say next? What should I say next? I'm so nervous. I'm trying to make a sale. I want to sell a challenge pack. Just listen to people and really address what they're looking for and give them the help that they need and you you can't go wrong and if they say no usually no means not now it's just not a good time then you always revisit in the future eventually they come around i'm telling you they come around you know the more your pipeline is full now leading up to january of next year january you will have a windfall of all these people that you've spoken to throughout the year who will come around and say you know I know you've been reaching out to me throughout 2016 and I've been saying no and I just haven't had time, but I I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, wh wh what can I do? That's why January is so big as a beach body coach is if you've done the right things leading up to that time of year. All right. Let's open it up. Like, seriously, guys, I, I want to open this to uh, questions and, and anything at all that you want to talk about regarding this past week that we've had. So, let, let's kind of just do a hand system. And Diana, yeah, let me unmute you. Go ahead, Diana. Hi. Hey. Hi, everybody. I just had my Shakeology thing. Nice. <laughs> brought a plug. Um, my question is that if you have somebody that you're talking to potentially, and maybe they don't know that you're a beach body coach, and they're they said they're interested in your fitness group. I'm curious if your dialogue changes when you transition them and you know, you tell them, oh, okay, great. I think 
this is kind of what you're looking for and this fits in. So how do you transition to the, them in, from the, this is something that you would pay for? Because I think that their little antenna goes up at some point and goes, hmm, this sounds a little more than. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And I think for me personally, like once, once I've gotten to that, that point of I've addressed the person's needs, I've answered their questions, I've shown them the video um, and gotten them excited about the program. Well, once they see the video, they obviously know it's gonna cost something. And I am very quick to, when I, when I have the follow-up discussion, like with Chad, it would be, you know, hey Chad, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie into the group, as you saw in the video, okay, it is on sale, so hopefully your program's on sale the month that you're talking to them, but if not, that's okay. And it becomes, so the fee of the program, which is the fitness pathway, the nutrition solution for the entire 60 days, plus the support that I'm going to give you as your coach, it's 160. Now, as a coach, I get a little commission on that, but the rest of my support and my ongoing coaching is free. Like you're connected with me for the remainder of your health and for the remainder of the goals that you're trying to achieve with no further fees. So my, my, I'm curious, so before you send them the video, do you not mention the price or anything at all? No. Okay, and what if they go, oh, is this before you send them the video during that conversation that you're having about fitness and their goals and everything, and you start telling them a little bit about what you think will work for them, and they go, oh, is this going to cost me money? Is I say, yeah, absolutely. Pay for? Yeah, yes. Have, so this will cost that? That's usually when it comes up. Yep, and I say, yes, yeah, it does. it does cost money. And you know, this is what I do part time as a coach. I am, I am, I am matching you up with the the fitness nutrition solution that I know is going to work for you based on what you've shared with me. But my coaching is free. Like you've got me as your coach for free. There's a fee for the program for which I'll get a little, I'll get a little commission on that program purchase. But the support and the ongoing coaching that I provide you with is free. So together, we're going to do this. It's not me selling you a program and then saying, good luck. No, you've got me. And that's the most valuable part of what this relationship is. So don't discount the value that you bring as a coach. And that's something that, again, is often missed by coaches. Coaches, you feel like you're selling a product to somebody and then off they go. That's not what coaching is about. Coaching, you know, and how cool is Beachbody providing us with these tools? Challenge groups are a tool through which we, we can keep people supported and accountable. The other tool that we have now is the, uh, the, the My Challenge Tracker app. The My Challenge Tracker app is fantastic. I actually just got dialed in this week on really starting to use it. And it allows you to hold people accountable, regardless of what program they're doing, right through an app. They can check in with you daily. You can check in with them. Hey, how you doing? You know, it's just, this is you as the coach holding them accountable and, and keeping them supported and motivated. That goes a long way. A lot of people need that when they're completing an at-home fitness program. So don't discount the value that you bring as the coach. So right. yeah, when somebody says, is this going to cost money? Yeah. Yes. Right. That, that, that's because, you know, all the rest of it is, is pretty simple, straightforward. Those are the sticking points when, you know what I mean? That, that's the, those, are, those are the transition points. Yeah. Uh, it, well, like yesterday, I had a friend of mine, a, a college roommate. I haven't spoken to him in three years. He reached out out of the blue and he said, Don, I put on some weight. It's just some things you're doing in fitness. Like, um, I, I want to lose a few pounds for the summer. Can you help me? That was his message. So I got on the phone with him and same question process that I just had with Chad. I determined what he needed. Based on our discussion, I really felt that T25 would be a good fit for him. Sent him the video. And I, I was very clear. I said, look, I'm going to send you a video. Obviously, there's a fee for the program, Beach, but I get a little commission on that. But then you've got me as your support person. So have a look at that video. And then I can also send you the breakdown of the cost and everything that's included. So I actually sent him the challenge pack link which gives a great listing. Like when you look at the challenge pack link and what, it, what the product costs, there's such a list of, wow, look at all that they're getting. But, but in addition to that, they're getting you as their coach. And I really believe that that is the most valuable part of the proposition, the support, the support and accountability that you're going to bring. Right. Absolutely. And I have, I have uh, another question, but I can wait until somebody else has a question. Yeah, that's all right. Anybody else? Kim. 
Hey, Kim. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, my problem is, is I can't get anybody to respond back. I've sent out like 50 um, private messages in the past three days. Okay. And and nobody is actually looking at them. Well, how do you, how do you, you're sending, you're sending personal messages on Facebook? Yes. Okay. Have you yourself, where are you in your journey, in your personal journey with completing a fitness program or a nutrition product? Like, what have you done thus far? Um, what, have I lost, what? Like, have you, are you currently following a fitness program yourself, or have you oh, completed absolutely, the program? absolutely, absolutely. I've, uh, I've lost 34 pounds. Oh, my God. Okay, now, yeah. have you shared any of that? Have you shared the fact that, oh, my God, I can't believe how good I feel. I've lost 34 pounds in the past two months, and it's fantastic. Like, have you posted anything like that? I, I share that on my private group. Okay. But I don't share it when I private message these people. But okay, so the people that you're private, the people that you're private messaging, who is it that you're choosing? Your friends and people that you know? No, they're just random people that friends are friends. I don't know them. No. Okay, so that's going to be. You definitely want to establish some kind of personal connection before you start offering anything that might be coming out of left field for them. Okay. All of a sudden, they're like, I don't really know this girl. She's working in this fitness group. Like, you probably are not going to get responsive to that. What you get responses to, though, Kim, is you've lost 34 pounds doing what? Shakeology and 21 Day Fix. How long ago did you start that process? January 17th. That's incredible. Yes. That's incredible. Absolutely. Now, let me ask you this. Did you... Did you take any before measurements and photos or anything like that? I didn't. Uh, I took photos, but I, did, I didn't take measurements when I first started. Okay. But yep. also, a lot of my weight was in my stomach, and I, you don't take your measurements of your stomach. Okay. Um, so now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do that because... I lost it a lot in my stomach because I, I looked like I was nine months pregnant. Wow. So, listen, everything you just said, like everything you just said there, you should be running that up in something that you share on social media. Like, oh, my God, you know, January 10th, I felt like I was nine months pregnant, and I decided to do something about it. And, boy, am I glad I did I followed this nutrition plan and did these workouts 30 minutes a day at home. I've dropped 34 pounds. I haven't felt this good since I can't remember when. When you put that up on your personal Facebook page, you're probably get some people liking it and commenting. What did you do? No, you know, on my personal page, I put my life on there. And I'm not getting anything... I mean, even not even anything from my friends. Okay, let me ask you this. Do you have any friends that you know who are overweight? Yes. Okay. Have you sent them a personal message? Absolutely. And they that you've lost this amount of weight and it's fantastic and you've decided to start a support group for anybody that's interested in doing the same. Yeah, and, and, and some of them will say, I like my... I like my food. Understood. Well, we eat food. We, we eat food like that. <laughs> I understand that. You're doing the right things, it sounds like, but I would not be sending out invitations to people you don't know or any type of, some type of personal connection. You know, and like there's a video, let me, let me ask you this. Like, last week, I put up a video from Coach Caleb Coach Caleb is the one that says how to invite like a pro, and he, he shows you how he does it on Facebook. The funny one? Uh, this one's actually not that funny. He's more serious than this one, but he, yeah, he's got a lot of funny ones. But this is the one where he's sitting at his computer, and he says, look, I want to show you what I do on Facebook to reach out to people and invite them. He, he goes through how he invites them and how he – 
touches upon personal things first, not just, hey, I'm putting together a fitness support group. There's a lot of personal dialogue and interaction before he jumps to that invitation. And that's, that's what you'll want to do. Like, go back and watch that video. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, because, you know, I, I want to get really involved in this, and it's just, I, I get frustrated. I know, a lot of, and a lot of coaches do. I mean, when you do the invitations, the way that Coach Caleb does in the video, with you sharing your personal results, like sharing how you felt and how you feel now, you should get a bite with one out of every 10 invitations. One out of every 10, you should get somebody going, yeah, this, this sounds interesting to me. What did you do? I'm interested. Right. Just go back and revisit that education. That would be my best recommendation. Yeah, because I mean, I had two that talked to me today about psychology. Okay. Um, and then I have one, um, one coach, but it's just like, I mean, I mean, yeah, and like I never lead in. You never lead in with psychology. Like I lead in with uh, clean eating, portion control, clean eating, and, and fitness. But see, I, they got that from my personal page because I'll post different stuff on there and it just so happened to be the shakeology that i if i'm drinking a shakeology sometimes i'll take a picture understood understood and that's the stuff that yeah you, i you, you don't you want to be careful flaunting beach body programs and products on your page like flaunting beach body programs and products and saying look at my shake you know that's people red flags going up everywhere you want to talk and share more on a deeper level. Your story. Like, your story is what's going to get people inspired. Right. Your story, what you just said about it, I felt like I was nine months pregnant. You know, I, like the video I put up, it's a much more extreme example, but Kim Chapman McIntosh lost 75 pounds. And I put her video up on the Team Euphoria page the other day. If you guys watched that video... She just kind of documented this journey that she's gone on. And it, you know, she's, you know, she's just inundated with people wanting to talk to her. And, and you kind of want to cut out your story and, and share how you felt, how you feel now, and get people inspired to want to know more. And, I, and I've done that on my personal page. I, I mean, I went out of my comfort zone to even post pictures of myself. I want to go and see your, your Facebook page. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and do that, um, and maybe I can follow up with you. Okay. What's your last name? Paul. What is it? Paul, P-A-U-L. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, Diana. Hold on. Um, go ahead, Diana. Hi. First, I want to say there's a lot of static on the line, Donna, and a lot of us are having a hard time uh, understanding you because every time you talk, there's like an echo. So I don't know if your speaker or your mic is turned up or the person that you were talking to is just getting a lot of like reverb going on. Am I clear now? Yes, you are to me now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I had, it might have been um, with both of our mics unmuted. Okay. Uh, so my question is about uh, Shakeology. I have um, somebody who signed up for it and was really excited about the whole meal replacement. And it's like, oh, okay, great. So I can use it for meal replacement. And I was like, well, I wouldn't really do it more than once a day. And she's like, well, why not? You said it's a meal replacement. If it's a complete regular face, why can't I do it more than once a day? And I said, well, um, you know, you're getting your full serving of your vitamins and minerals. So your body doesn't need anymore. And you don't want to like, and, you, and your body probably craves like, a, you know, a, the, the variety of other food and having real meals. So I would just suggest having one meal, but I'm just curious, like, cause I know I, I asked this on in the group and somebody said, Oh yeah, they can have up to two, but what else would you like say to that person, especially since you have more insight about Shakeology and my food? response would be that that one serving of Shakeology is a very dense, you know, I, I love the term dense dose of nutrition one serving of Shakeology a day is all your body needs to assimilate the, 
the nutrient value. Otherwise, it, it can be a bit of overkill. Now, I do sometimes share that personally. I sometimes have two shakes a day because I get a, I get a craving at night for sweets. So I'll have a second Shakeology, and that's kind of to curb my cravings. But Shakeology is not meant to replace real food. Yeah, one meal, fine. But your body needs real food, too. Can you, can you help me understand, like, explain them to more, like, what, why your body, you know what I mean? Because to, to this woman, it was like, well, if it's a meal replacement, then it is real food. You told me it's real, you know, so it's just like. Oh. Yeah, but you, there's things, like, your body needs fiber and, and substance, and, you know, the nutrients of Shakeology are fantastic. It's, it's everything you need, but your body still needs, you know, real food, especially if you're trying to, for fitness results and. Right. And the calories, that's some, something somebody else brought up to me. It was like, oh, well, you know, is it really healthy for me to, because isn't a normal diet supposed to be this many calories? And if I'm using this to supplement a meal, it's cutting the calories so much. And I mean, I recently saw somebody's video that said, you know, it's cutting calories, but it's not cutting the nutrition. So that's okay. Correct. But do, you have, do you have anything else around that? I, I'm not sure really of the question. Uh, what, what's the question? Well, this, this other person was saying that, you know, is it like uh, there's so many calories that she's heard that somebody needs during the day. So she was worried, like, is it safe for me to cut so many calories and is the meal replacement and all of that kind of stuff? It, everybody's caloric needs are everybody's caloric needs are different depending on their current weight, depending on the goals that they have. So the number of calories somebody should be consuming on a daily basis is different from one person to the next, depending on their weight, their size, their goals. It's not like everybody should have X number of calories per day. It's it's different for everyone. So depending right. on that person's that, caloric needs. If they're concerned needs, that by drinking Shakeology, it's not meeting whatever they believe that they're it's going to, you know, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Like it's not necessarily a meal replacement for everybody. Like for me personally, I don't replace any of my meals yeah. with Shakeology. For me personally, I use it as a nutrition supplement. I'm okay. adding Shakeology to my normal daily food regimen. I'm not replacing any meals because I'm not trying to lose weight. I want the calorie, I want the nutrient benefits, but I'm not trying to cut calories. That's not my, my yeah. goal with it. Yeah. And I, I think actually I've had, I've, so I've been taking it for like a week now and I think, you know, I'm having like some issues and I think it's because I'm not, I mean, I work out hard yep. and I'm not getting nutrients. So I'm getting all that backlash that so there's a nutritionist who was talking about Shakeology, which um, basically like you need, you know, all those nutrients and everything. And so I think for somebody like me, I need to also just eat, Yes, you, you know, do. because yes. I'm not, you know, yes, you I do. just take coffee as a meal replacement. Like, I'm not doing so well, you know. Are you getting bloated? Bloated? No. No, okay. I'm not getting bloated. But my energy, like, after two hours, I get so hungry. So, as far as, like, maintaining my, you know, suppressing my appetite, it's like, no. And I and then I crash. Like, I crash really. You need like, to eat that. Yeah, you need to eat. Your metabolism's on fire. Yeah. And that's, a, that's a really healthy thing. You're, yeah. training, you're working out. Well, I never had I, I've had super fast like metabolism, you know, work because I've worked out for years and I push myself pretty hard. But yeah, so I was like, okay, well, I can just replace this. And no, oh my God, if I don't no. within two hours of the no. shake, I feel just yeah. Like, don't, don't don't replace your food. You add okay. that to your normal daily okay. food regimen. Yeah, you're you are not that person that needs to be using it as a meal replacement. But yeah. for a lot okay. of people, for a lot of people, it is. If they want to lose weight, okay. Correct. Okay. Correct. That. that, that because I was getting all the cravings and all yeah. the other stuff that the nutritionist was talking about from not having nut enough nutrition. And I'm like, here I am taking Shakeology. And, yeah. you know, I was doing better before I took it. And I'm like, this is good, you know? So, okay. Yeah, eat your food. Don't replace any meals with it. Just have it in addition to the, your, your normal food. That's, that's what I, I, I could, personally, I could not replace my meals with Shakeology. I'd, I'd crash. But I, yeah. if I go without it. it, if I go without it, I feel the difference. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Good questions. Okay. Does anybody have questions on the business side? Alicia, is it you? Hey. Hi. And I want to go off to that other diamond glitter thing. Got it. Too, so. cool. um, it's not a business question. I'm sorry. Okay. But it was when you were saying about leading in with Shakeology, um, a lot of, and you know, you're, you're, 
been in this longer than me and you've got all those diamonds and I don't, but I lots of times do speak about Shakeology first. And then I'm like, for $10 more, you get the challenge pack. Like, you know, when we have those challenge packs that are the 140. Yes. And you're getting 130 for Shakeology. And I start off a lot of times with Shakeology because how it has worked for me and how it makes me feel and how my psoriasis wasn't out this winter. Yep. So I start with Shakeology. Totally fine. Seriously, okay. that's, that's a great strategy. You know, it's, there's, okay. there's different ways to approach it. And I think it's just depending on who you're talking to. Okay. Like earlier today, I was talking to a guy at the gym. He was talking to me about wanting to do something different. He's in decent shape. But he's like, I know I need to do something different. I've been doing some small group training and I want to do something on my own. I said, I'll tell you what, man, there's a 60 day program out there that's going to give you the total solution. Like if you want to work out on your own, plus a nutrition pathway, this is it. And I just gave it just the bundled thing. Right. He's like, well, I'm getting all that for the price. I'm like, yeah, you get all that. Okay. So I, cause I knew if I just started talking to him about a shake, yeah. he'd have been like, I'm looking for a workout program. Right. So it just depends on who you're talking to. But that point of for just ten dollars more, you get an exercise program. Oh. That's what makes the challenge pack so very valuable. Yeah. Okay. And the other question was, um, I do have a coach that wants to join, and she did do a challenge pack almost a year ago. So she still is considered to be able to get that. Yeah, Bonnie, can you consider, Bonnie? Is that right? Could it, like if it was almost a year ago? Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. Oh, yep. Okay. So okay. she'll sign up as a coach, and then she'll complete that form, the one right. in the app. Mm -hmm. Send it to Beachbody. Beachbody sees that in the history. Yeah, she bought a challenge back. They refund okay. thirty nine ninety five. Okay, great. And before I forget, military, any yeah. active duty military, yeah. coaches for free. Yeah, they pay no sign up fee. They pay no monthly service fees. How cool is that? They just become coaches for free, and they get twenty five percent discount yeah. on Beachbody programs. Not only the active military, but the spouses of active military. So if you know anybody military, okay. great, great opportunity. Okay, thank you. Thanks. How are you doing? Okay, hold on, let's see. Yep, Diana. Sorry, um, I, this is kind of a general thing, and sorry, I don't wanna take it, if somebody else has a question, please jump ahead of me, I don't wanna like uh, hog, the, hog your time, Don. But um, my, this is a general question, and maybe you can just point me, because my network is more of business professionals, entrepreneurs, professional coaches that are successful in personal development and whatnot. And so when I talk to some of these people, you know, as you know, with business, it's like, give me the facts quickly and make yeah. the assessment. And they already, you know, they already know maybe about an MLM company here or another shake here. So they want to like get to the facts, right? They, they want to know Tell me how big this opportunity yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is, you know, they trust me. So they're like, okay, give me the facts. <laughs> Tell me what it is. And I'm the kind of person too that I'm like, yeah, here's the facts and here's what, you know, I'm, I'm right there. But being a new coach, I'm trying to figure out how to best on ramp or on board, whatever you call it myself and get, like pull those nuggets out without watching, you know, all these videos that are like heartwarming. I love hearing people's stories, but I just like need, want like the boil down. Fast. You want to see it, You want to see a business presentation? Yeah. So it's like yeah, just getting to the meat of it because I know how to do the sales and all of the, you know all of that. I, I so you want to see a business presentation? Yeah, I, I want to just keep it really concise and to those points of comparing each other products and. Yeah, that's what I really, really need to. Wait, wait, you, you okay? Comparing to other products, that's that's not like too much about the business. You want to get into that stuff, or do you want to get? No, 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 that, I mean, I, I, I want to have access to that information as well. So if somebody has uh, tried another shake, or you know, is has some insight about MLM, or you know what I mean, so somebody who already has some savvy or insight to, to business, I just, I want to figure out how to get the condensed facts to them, how I can learn that information as fast as possible so I can translate it. Because I already have the, the trust built in with my network and people, you know, I, I, I I'll can send do you a presentation that's 30 minutes long that okay. I did that is, it's like higher level overview of the money that's being earned the growth of this company and how this company is growing faster than any network marketing company in the world right now. 57% okay. annual growth on average since 2008. No other company out there is doing that. Right. 
the money that's being earned by coaches and how quickly they're earning it is beyond most network marketing companies. And the plans for growth and the triple A rating of this company and the plans for international expansion and how this company is the only one that has a customer lead program where coaches are given free customers. None of that happens in other MLMs. So this stuff is hit upon in this 30 minute presentation. If that's, I can send you the link to that. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely. Cause I mean, the more like really that I can just get the, the facts that the easier it's going to be for me to, to ramp up and really, cause otherwise, I mean, like I said, uh, they're all busy executives, entrepreneurs, and they don't have the time or the patience. And they already know that, yes, if it's a, they already know in the power of MLM and whatever, it's just about the right opportunity for them. Got it. Yep. No problem. I can get you the, um, the, some information to absorb, but definitely know that this is not an overnight process. This is not something that you can just kind of go out and start signing people up and think that they're just going to sign up a bunch of people on the business opportunity and not start hitting success club and not start selling challenge packs. Cause that's what a lot of people look for. They want the easy, give me the easy way. This is not easy, but this works. And this is something that is highly effective for helping people. So right. anybody that's coming in here to say, well, just give me the facts. Like, right. I, I'm just trying to figure out as, you know, as I'm managing my time, how best to sift through the information to get the, the most information, to get the, the, the really, I understand. Information, you know, cause they're, like you said, it is overwhelming with all the different groups and the resources yeah. we went through the thing through the whatever um, initial thing where, and I kind of wish there was like a syllabus, like here, dump, 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 you know what I mean? Of, of the, the website and, and all of that, that would help me out to just kind of, you know. Yep, I'll, send you the, I'll send you the link. Thank you. Okay. Julie here, hold on. Hey, go ahead. Hi, just a quick question in the future. Um, if you're interested in speaking with gym owners, I have a couple of friends who uh, own a CrossFit gym. Uh, cool. They're all ex-military. Um, and you know, we're friendly, they're good people and I could see them. I'd love as, to talk to them. Yeah. I'd love to have them come into the family somehow. Yeah. Um, love so it. I'm playing the game going to an Arbonne party hosted by <laughs> wife. So, okay. You know, no, but no, just, that's, that's great. And I would love to speak to any fitness professionals out there and you know, what I've shared in this education, guys, is really designed for people who are building through the traditional coach ways. I mean, it's helping people. It's running challenge groups, selling challenge packs, hitting success club. That's the nuts and bolts of how to build your business. There is this other whole side to engaging fitness professionals, training studio owners, health club owners on the nutrition of Beachbody. Um, I'm getting ready to do a formal presentation called Mission Nutrition, and it, it's going to be uh, the system that we at Gold's Gym Newberg have created to build a big nutrition business within our gym. And that nutrition business is focused on three things, performance food center, Shakeology, and the portion fix eating plan. And it's how we've systemized those three things to build an incredible nutrition offering and add a lot of income to our bottom line in the gym. Okay. That's what gym owners are gonna to wanna to hear and see, people that own training studios. I'm, gonna, I'm, do, I'm putting together this formal presentation that I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a Facebook event. You can invite people to the event and they can click on and register for the webinar. Okay. So it'll be a live webinar that I do. It's gonna be sometime in May, but I'll have the invitation put up and everything organized during April. So okay. stay tuned for that because it's time that we, started to engage more of the gyms and fitness world with this because it's just too powerful not to. Yeah, and I want to be patient and time it right because you technically get one shot sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I share the bottom line income numbers that the nutrition has done in our health club, gym owners are going to go, oh my God, how are you doing that? Because most fitness facilities – have little to nothing going on when it comes to nutrition based income. And that's what we're doing very, very well now. And I'm going to share those, those numbers. Okay. All right. So maybe I'll pick your brain offline at some point. In the yeah. Future about yeah, for sure. One-on-ones and yep. Okay. You got it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey guys, I apologize with, uh, I know there's been a lot of 
Q and A going on in the chat box, and I didn't really get to open it. Um, oh wow, there's there's a lot in here. So rather than me going through, is there anything in that thread that I that was asked that I didn't get to, or is there anything that anybody else wants to ask in terms of uh, moving forward? This was your yeah, Kira. Let's go. Hey, Kira. Um, so I have someone who's interested in coaching. They go to, I'm on Long Island, but they're in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Like, I don't know how would that work? Like, would I still be able to do the same type of thing or, I mean. In, in terms like, of what, because they're not located near you? Yeah. Like, does that matter? Like, cause I, like I'm in sales, so I know like regionally they can only do like Northeast. Oh my God. No, your, your business is wherever you, like your business can be in Alaska. Oh, okay. It does not matter where people are located. There's no regional territories or anything like that. Like as a Beachbody coach, you're your own independent entrepreneur with plenty of help and support, but your business can span anywhere in Canada and the United States. Okay. Soon to cool. be other countries. So it will be going international. All right. That's cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else, guys? Is anybody here Emerald? Raise your hand if you're Emerald. Emerald, one, two, three. Chad's Emerald, four. Okay. I know, Anna, we can't see you. Um, actually, Anna, did I see a congratulations that you hit Emerald? Let me just see. I'm looking at the chat box. I can't see. Um, this was about getting to Emerald. If it didn't happen yet, that's totally fine. You know, it's, it's just your first step in this whole equation. And if you get two coaches signed up, you're at that Emerald rank, hit Success Club, and get into the Customer Lead Program. Now, I didn't get a chance to cover the Customer Lead Program because we ran short on time, only having 10 days. And, you know, I shared what I thought was most valuable without overwhelming you. What I will do is sprinkle in another post or two over the coming days that get into the customer lead program and how it works and why it's so valuable because the with the customer lead program is where you're going to fuel your your business with people who have signed up with either uh, a program or have just signed up with a free player membership to Beachbody saying you know I just want free help and ask for a coach. And those people get assigned to you to reach out and say, I'm your coach, I'm, I'm your support person. You know, what are your health and fitness goals? It's a very powerful way to help build your business. So get to that rank of Emerald. I talked about making the investment possibly to use your own credit card and sign up two immediate family members. That's tax deductible. Now you have two coaches, you're at the rank of Emerald, you're beginning your business. All right, if not, challenge group customer, or challenge pack customer, after that first month, they're gonna continue with Shakeology. It's crazy for them not to become a discount buyer because they save money. The net effect is they save about $20 a month net of their, their uh, business service fee, okay? All right, guys, let me just see. Was there any other uh, messages in the chat? Oh, Anna is Emerald. Congratulations. Good job. All right. Well, if you're in the Diamond Dash, it's a great platform to learn from some really awesome coaches. Good luck in that. The prize pot is five. It's over $5,000. We've never had a prize pot that big in the Diamond Dash. It's, it's amazing. So anybody who hits the rank of diamond during that six weeks of training um, will, will be amongst those sharing that $5,000 prize pot. It's pretty cool. Last chance for cues. Oh, Diana. Hey. Guess who? It's me again. Right. Um, <laughs> um, in the beginning, you said something, and I missed it because I was just listening on the phone, and you said – don't do this at all until you reach diamond. And I don't, do you, does anybody don't, remember? Don't, don't start your own team page or your own team name. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and, and, and a few years ago, I didn't really know that. I didn't know better. And some of the coaches going through training were like, they, they had like one or two coaches signed up and they started a team. 
And it was like, it's just a little premature because you start a team page. It's only got two or three people and there's very little action going on. Yeah. My suggestion is, you know, get to the diamond rank. That's kind of like where you've entered the ranks of leadership as a coach. Mm -hmm. And you could consider forming a team or a team page if you wanted. It's entirely up to you. Okay. Maria, you good? Awesome. Awesome. Everyone else? Chad, where'd you go? Skiing again, man? You snowmobiling? <laughs> Chad lives in North Vancouver. He's gone. There. Is there, is there a specific... <laughs> What's that? Can you hear me? Is there, is there a specific page for Canadian customers? Because I have somebody who's just waiting on information for me, and I can't seem to find just the conversion rate to Canadian money of what yeah. it costs. Yeah, it, it, it automatically switches over if they're in Canada. Chad, right? If they're in Canada, I unmuted you. Uh, yeah, it just automatically converts over. Like even, even when you go to the uh, app and I send a challenge pack, it converts it automatically. You just got to make sure you choose Canada up in the top right-hand corner. Yeah, because I, I have a, a friend and he's just like, just tell me what the after-tax price is in Canadian money plus the shipping fees. I want to know how much shipping, which I think I, I looked online and it said they had an extra $5 charge. Yeah. But, you know, and I'm like, how do I, you know, so I'm having a hard time figuring out what the final total conversion rate. And breaking It'll down. convert it right on the thing for me. So once okay, they so choose just go it. Through, like, he, like on the app as if I was like, or, or just go through as if I was like a customer or, I mean, how do I, because I, my, my biggest thing for a lot of these people is just getting this information as quickly and efficiently and, you know, um, to them as possible. Well, when I just, oh, sorry. I was going to say, Chad, right. If, if you, if she sends the, the link, they cl you click on, they'll click on the link and it's going to break down everything they get plus the price. Absolutely. Like what you said earlier to me is like the best sales angle. I just send them the link. Yep. And that's after all your verbiage is done, that's the total validity yep. because they click on it. It converts it to Canadian and it has the whole list. So if it's master hammer and chisel and it's on sale, it's got like, there's so much info there that if yeah. someone, if, if after reading that someone said to me, there's not enough value here, <laughs> well then they probably don't want to do what they said they wanted to do. Good point. Man. Just get into shape. And, and right. Chad, if I wanted to get that insight for myself, like how would I, because I know he can click on it, but it's just so I get well versed in, in that info. Um, well, you like, can click right on the link as if you're going to buy it and it'll, it'll just pull it right up for you. Right. Okay. But how does it, it doesn't go to, it won't go to the Canadian website for me. Right. If you, if you click Canada, it will. Oh, okay. There is. Okay. So there is a specific Canada link. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. Like, like when you first open up like all of the options, so say pick, master hammer and chisel and you click on that. So then for you guys, it'll certainly be defaulted to the U S but I'm in Canada. So I can switch my default to Canada. But if I didn't do that in the top right hand corner, you just hit Canada and then it automatically switches it when you hit the link and it'll say like, for example, uh, it's $184 Canadian. If you want to buy it, and then it takes you to the next page and then it'll say buy now and it'll be in Canadian dollars as well again. So does it give you the breakdown before the final? Um, like, oh yeah. Do you have to fill out the whole, do I? Yeah. The whole list? It, it'll, it'll give you the whole list before you have to buy for sure. Okay. So, but it'll give the, the tax. And what I'm saying is, is before they have to fill out the form with their name and everything else, when they do go through the checkout, does it give them the breakdown of the tax and the shipping and all of that? Uh, I no. don't know if it does the no. shipping. I don't no. think it does. No, because it's dependent on their address. So they just got to accept the fact there's shipping and taxes. There's, you know, there's no way around. Yeah. And, and so it's really... not a flat fee. Okay. No. Like I know for, for the hammer and chisel for some of my customers, it's, it's been as low as like 220 and then it's been as high as like 240. Okay. But, and because I've had people in Halifax buy it, I've had people in Manitoba buy it. So it just really depends. Because I think in Canada, quite frankly, it comes out of the products come out of Toronto. They come out of Mississauga. Okay. I think. So, um, yeah. That's I, I interesting. I, they have a distribution center in Canada. Well, according to some of the uh, packing slips that I've seen. Wow. Yeah, 
That's cool. Yeah. yeah, but I have to bowl. So yeah, cool. I know, guys. It was it was fantastic. So thank you. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, bro. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, guys. Thanks. See you. Bye. Anything else? We're winding down. Are we ready to call it a day? <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, you've been fantastic. I appreciate it. Stay the course. Stay committed. This business is amazing. You just got to uh, you just got to apply yourself every day. Help people. Any conversations around you about people who want to lose weight? They feel shitty. Oh, I don't know what to eat. Everybody's got issues. Reach out and say I can help you because you can. All right. All right, and I will, Diana, I'm going to put up uh, the link to, it's a 30-minute business presentation that I did live that really is like, here's the business. I even show income that's being earned by coaches. Awesome. Okay? Sounds good. All right, cool. All right, guys, have a great night. Good luck. Reach out if you need any help. Thank you. Bye-bye.